So the camera is set at 24 frames per second, ready for loading, it is fully wound. So we turn the camera over, so the cover of the magazine is uppermost. Uh, you will see uh, there is a knob, they vary slightly on different models, but uh, a knob that you turn anti-clockwise to remove the cover, uh, the cover of the magazine. Um, you will see that there is an empty spool housed in the top, or there should be. Uh, if there's not, you need to pick one up from the stores, of course. Um, you will see there is a, a chrome lever here. Now, if you press that lever, any spools that are on these spindles will spring off. So you need to press that uh, to spring off the empty spool. Uh, it's always a good idea uh, just to eye up a spool. These are called daylight spools, just to make sure it's not bent. And it should actually have a square hole each side. Uh, it wouldn't have actually fitted in otherwise. There, there is a very rare uh, daylight spool that comes with a hole one side. If you come across one of those, don't put your film on that because it won't fit in the Bolex. So, wound the camera, 24 frames per second, take out a spool taken out. Uh, the next thing you really need to do is to locate a little lever here, just on the edge of the magazine, and you will see that one position is marked with nothing, and the other position is marked with a zero. Now all that does, if it's in the non-zero position, it means that when you run the camera it'll click. Um, and at 24 frames per second, uh, those clicks represent seconds. And being a clockwork camera, you are restricted on how long a shot can be. And they do vary, of course, depending on the strength of the spring on a particular camera and the age of a camera. So it's really best just to make sure that lever there is in the non-zero position and then run the camera. Now the release button is on the front here. Remember we wound it 24 frames per second. Press that button and you will hear clicks as it runs. And you need to count the clicks. I won't go all the way through, but it'll be roughly 20. And they vary from sort of 18 to 25 seconds. You need to know uh, how long you've got with a particular camera for a particular shot. Uh, once you've done that, uh, you then need to make sure there's no bits of hair, dust, uh, bits of film left in the magazine because you can bet your bottom dollar that it'll be your best piece of work ever and there'll be a big hair across the gate. Now this here is called the pressure plate here um, and that keeps the film firmly against the focal plane of the camera. You'll see there's a little chrome knob there that I pulled up. If you pull that up, the pressure plate will come out on a hinge. On the other end of the pressure plate, there's a knurled knob that unscrews. And that unscrews completely and you can take the pressure plate completely out like that. It is a very good thing to do to make sure, and you can actually see the gate in there, to make sure there's no dust. It's best to use a blower brush or a can of air is even better um, to use. Uh, don't use a blower brush too much because you'll get static that attracts even more dust. But you do need to make sure it's clean and uh, around the bottom of the magazine as well. Yeah. So once you've made sure everything's clean, uh, that pops back in with the shiny chrome bit uppermost here and the black knurled knob uh, down the bottom that forms the sort of hinge there. That just screws up like that. And you must make sure that clicks back into place. Okay, so I've screwed up the bottom one fairly tight, finger tight, and I pop it back into place so it clicks. Did you hear that click? It must spring back in so it clicks. Click like that. Uh, because if you don't, the film will all concertina up when you try and load it. Uh, you will see that you've got loop formers here. And these, these loop formers open and close with this lever here. Closed. And you press the middle button, they open. So close, 
open. People do get confused about which way they should be for loading. They must be closed. They must be closed for loading like that. Yeah. There is a fail safe when you put the cover back on actually. It does open them again, but it's always good practice to open uh, the loop formers yourself when you've loaded the film.